this is TTM TV. We're here at Popac Asia 2012. I'm here with Natalie, the strategic marketing manager for the Cermex Group. Right. Thank you very much for speaking to us. Thank you, Nicolas. So can you tell me a little bit about the Cermex Group and what, what have you got that's new this year? Okay. So Cermex Group is um, at, at the base is a French company, but now um, worldwide. Uh, we have uh, several uh, subsidiaries all over the world, right. and we have a huge uh, sales force, also sales team uh, all over the world. It's a group uh, with uh, 800 uh, people now, because uh, this year there is a big novelty. We have just uh, acquired uh, a French company named uh, Newtech, Newtech. Special, uh, yes, specialized in palletizing, and uh, it has reinforced the Cermex in palletizing expertise. Mm -hmm. So that's the main, I will say, a fact regarding uh, the, the, the life of Cermex Group this year in 2012. And we have also achieved last year 100 million euros. And the objective with New Tech is now the, that we, now we are 800 people and our objective is to make uh, 120 million euros as objective for 2012. Yes. And you're a French company. And can you tell us a little bit about what your new technology is, what's, yeah. what's the latest on offer from okay. you? So, like I said, at the beginning we were a French company, but now we are a multinational company because yeah. we are based in France, obviously. Mm -hmm. We have uh, three business units, yeah. with now uh, the one from uh, New Tech. Mm -hmm. uh, but we have also a business unit in uh, Beijing, another one in Pune, in India. Yes. Uh, and as I said also, we have sales subsidiaries all over the world, in United States, in United Kingdom, in Mexico, uh, in Thailand, obviously, yeah. with Cermex uh, Thailand here uh, present uh, at ProPAC. Mm -hmm. um, regarding main innovations, um, last year we have already introduced our new generation of shrink wrappers mm -hmm. called the first film. Yeah. Um, so it, was, uh, it, it is the state of the art regarding shrink wrapping technology. Yeah. Uh, and as I remind you, it's based on the modular concept with uh, the integration of the uh, highest technology regarding motion mm -hmm. uh, and also PLC. In uh, 2012, at the beginning of the year, thanks to the Versa theme also, we launched our machine called TSB. It is also a shrink wrapper yeah. that we designed specifically for a specific segment uh, of Asian market. We produce this machine in Beijing. It has been it has been developed in Beijing, mm -hmm. uh, based on uh, I would say the uh, the best qualities of the Versafim, integrating the best qualities of the Versafim, always based on modular concept and the the motion, the high technology regarding motion. Mm -hmm. And our goal with this machine is to uh, has a simple solution, but with high quality standard, mm -hmm. because we identified a specific market which is one, uh, I would say, one of the major uh, segments for, for instance, Chinese market, mm -hmm. that the customers re require simple technology mm -hmm. or simple machine, easy to operate, yeah. but always focus on ergonomics and uh, format changeovers easy to be done. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have uh, implemented it within a simple design, mm -hmm. but with the high quality standard that characterize Cermex Group. Mm -hmm. and Thermex all over the world. Right. What specific technological developments have you had that allow you to uh, you know, achieve your quality, levels of quality? So uh, first is to be always aware of the uh, motion technologies, mm -hmm. the, uh, the most advanced one uh, all over the world. Yeah. First we pay a lot of attention for that. Also our developments always uh, are focused on ergonomics. Yes. Uh, format changeovers, for instance, for format changeovers, in order to be uh, easier to be made and faster, uh, we integrate robotic, as you can see on the video uh, displayed uh, yep. behind me. Yep. Sometimes you can see a video. Mm -hmm. So we integrate a lo a more and more robotics in our machines yep. because customers need flexibility. Yep. Flexibility also is another driver for our technolo uh, technology uh, uh, innovation. Mm -hmm. So uh, basically, I would say this is the, the four, I would say, drivers of our uh, innovation. Ergonomics, quick uh, format changeovers, easy to be done. The robotics, also uh, easy access for maintenance, uh, uh, for operation and also for maintenance. Yeah.
And what do you see as the future of technology? Where, where, where is the technology heading? What are your customers asking for you? The customers uh, will always ask for the four basic drivers I told you. Mm -hmm. Ergonomics, machine easy to be uh, to be uh, to operate because you know they can have they can face some uh, turnover and so the machine that have to be easy to uh, to operate to understand for maintenance uh, and for also operations industrial operations um, uh, to also. You know, you can notice that uh, all over the world, our customers have a small series of productions uh, because they produce for uh, different countries. Yeah. And so they, uh, they need to have a flexible machine. So flexibility also is a definitive uh, a huge driver for our innovation. Okay, Natalie, thank you very much for speaking to us. You're welcome. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you.